I wanted to make a quick video of putting a uh, water flow sensor into the path of a, a pool fill valve. Uh, so here you can see the water is coming out of the house and uh, dripping there. And, uh, and then that's where it needs to go into the ground and then out to the pool. So I wanted to put the, the water flow sensor in that path and then uh, monitor it with a little Raspberry Pi. One thing to note is there is an indicator on the, the back of the sensor which indicates the water flow direction. I don't really know if that's necessary, but uh, anyway, I followed it. And I'm going to th thread the uh, sensor into a brass elbow. So on that side I used uh, TFE paste or, or pipe dope and, um, and then just threaded that in. The other side goes into a uh, stainless steel uh, hose uh, which has rubber uh, washers in it. So. Um, I didn't need to use any uh, pipe dope or, or uh, Teflon tape on that side. So after I got everything uh, cinched up, then I turned on the, the water supply and then checked for leaks. Um, I did actually have a leak and then I added a little bit more uh, Teflon tape and that sealed everything up nicely. So here's a, my crude little drawing of uh, how the water flow sensor works. Uh, it uses something called the Hall effect um, to sense the rotation of a little paddle wheel inside. Um, and so the, the data line there shown in blue um, actually just triggers high and low uh, based on every, every time one of the paddles goes past the sensor. Uh, so the, the sensor takes uh, three, three wires, uh, power and ground, and then uh, this data line. And I found a, a really good um, YouTube video uh, of someone explaining the Hall effect um, in, in a sensor very much like this. So I'll just put a link to that in the description. Okay, so what are the three wires from the sensor going to hook up to? Well, you can see them here. They're going to hook up to this little Raspberry Pi Zero. So the red one is power, the black one is ground, and, and the yellow one is uh, that data line. And of course, that data line has to hook up to one of the Raspberry Pi's GPIOs, and that's uh, GPIO 4. And I've included a link to the GPIO mapping in the description. One thing to be uh, cautious of with uh, Raspberry Pi Zero is there are two micro USB uh, jacks here. And one's for actual USB and the other one is just to supply power. So when you do supply power, just make sure you plug it into the right jack. Okay, so here's where the two things come together. Here's the Raspberry Pi with its three wires, the power ground and data. And then the same thing on the connector from the, the sensor, the flow sensor. And I'm just matching up uh, power, ground, and data into those uh, three slots. It's uh, not super robust connection, but I can tape that together later. And then uh, just applying power to the Raspberry Pi here. And the little green light turns on, which indicates that it's starting to boot. And then I can go back and see if I can reach it uh, over the network. One of the nice things about this version of the Raspberry Pi Zero is it's the Zero W, which means it has built-in Wi-Fi. So I already configured uh, it to line up with my Wi-Fi. So then I can just go back to my uh, my laptop and uh, start to, to try and reach the Raspberry Pi from the network. So here you see that I've logged into uh, the Raspberry Pi. And uh, then I'll just launch this little Python script called Water Flow Meter. And uh, we'll see if I can sense the water flow. Uh, so initially there's nothing there and then I go out and I just press on the water flow valve uh, to trigger it to, to leak some water and then I can see that indeed here uh, it counted a bunch of pulses. By the way I've sped this up quite a bit. The, the inter interval time is about 10 seconds for this. So the area where this is all located is actually under a protected roof um, but I still didn't want to leave this exposed to the outside air so um, I put it in this super whizzy enclosure and uh, we'll then tape up the um, the opening um, so it'll be reasonably moisture resistant. Um, so in the end I did get the email uh, from the little Raspberry Pi and it indicated that the water had flowed over the limit I'd set. Uh, I would just get one email a day. So, And by the way, if, if somebody's interested in the code for this, uh, just message me through YouTube and I can, uh, I can either post it in the description or just send it to you. Alright, I'm going to call this a success. Thanks.